Good afternoon. Today we have Will Kendall, who is running for Houston County Sheriff, joining us. So thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to have you. It's a beautiful day, and we have a few questions talking about the Houston County Sheriff election. So starting off, what do you think is the biggest issue or challenge facing the Sheriff's Office over the next four years, and how do you plan to solve that? Yeah, so currently up front, I think it has a lot to do with, uh, you know, addressing serious violent felonies, particularly gang activity. Um, and of course, in order to do that, you need to come up to full staff. You need to have an adequate staff at the sheriff's office uh, in order to actually serve the public and serve them well as it's intended to do. So I, I think that um, looking at, uh, you know, investigating and prosecuting, you know, gangbangers and drug traffickers and in order to do that, uh, having a full staff. So I think that's the, the main issue. Okay. Now, what do you consider when you are considering this fact most heavily um, that would indicate we're in a safer community, that you're seeing better numbers in Houston County and you feel safer there? Yeah, so I, I'm a fan of uh, community engagement, okay. right? So I think that people are the best barometer uh, in order to tell us, you know, whether or not we're doing a good job, whether or not that crime is being reduced. Um, I have yet to see the, um, the data set or the, the program that can override what the people of the community actually know about their community. So I think that's a big, uh, a, a big indicator is uh, what the people have to say about it. And so community engagement will lead to the right results. Any particular community engagement that you're thinking of? You know, I'm a fan of uh, direct community en engagement, right? Um, in order to have uh, or to do things like town hall meetings uh, to establish a, a non-emergency line where we actually track issues and complaints uh, and then provide, you know, resolution and results to the people that made those complaints so they know that we're following through with those things as a sheriff's department. All right. Now, how do you plan on making Houston County safer? Any new programs? Is it just being more involved in the community? How do you plan on making it safer? Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with being proactive. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, going out on Thursdays and cutting tickets for people talking on their cell phones and rolling stop signs. Uh, using police force right now, we have to do it smartly and efficiently. Um, we're facing a national law enforcement shortage. Uh, Houston County is not immune to that. Uh, so we need to work on our staffing, our, our recruitment and retention to be active about that, uh, but also utilize our police force smartly uh, in efficient policing. So instead of cutting, you know, soccer mom and dad speeding tickets and for rolling stop signs, uh, we actually go after the gangbangers, the drug traffickers, uh, you know, try to make an impact on juvenile crime in Houston County. And is juvenile crime something you're seeing more of these days? Yeah, you know, and I think it also, may, maybe we don't see more of it, but certainly it is, is more notable and more devastating when we do see it. Uh, it is a tragic, tragic thing when we have 13 and 14 year olds killing people. Um, I can tell you as the current district attorney that, you know, we see and we know that those things are connected to gang, uh, gang activity. Um, and so we need to do something about our criminal street gangs. They exist in Houston County. I've said it for a couple years now. Uh, we made some proactive endeavors even from the DA's office to go after those folks uh, and, the, and the work continues. All right. Now, why do you think that you're the best candidate for Houston County Sheriff? You have other opponents, but what makes you the best or the most qualified? Sure. Um, you know, I, I think that a lot of it is is having a good balance of things. You know, I have a, a eight year law enforcement career. Uh, I come from a law enforcement background. I've been in law enforcement longer and I've been a lawyer, which I know sounds kind of strange being the DA currently. Uh, but not only do I have a law enforcement background and training, uh, I also am the district attorney right now. So I deal with budgets. I deal with hiring and firing, counseling, reprimanding. Um, I know what it's like to be in public office. I know what it's like to administrate. So not only do you get law enforcement, you also get the administration capability. I'm a Marine veteran. I took an oath to uphold the Constitution. As a sheriff, I'll do the same. All right, and so for folks wanting to go out to the polls, it's coming up. We just talked about it. early yeah. voting starts next week. So what do you want to tell those voters? Yeah, so, I, you know, the biggest thing is go out and make a, an informed decision. Uh, don't rely on yard signs. Don't rely on somebody's endorsement. Be an independent voter. Go out and research candidates. Uh, look at their qualifications. Look at their actual track record and make an informed decision out of voter. But probably most importantly, you know, after you do that, go out and vote. Go out and vote. All right, well, thank you so much for being yeah, here today. Thank you. Now, to watch the full interview and to find out more about the upcoming elections, head on over to our website, 41NBC.com.